How's it going everybody? This is Javier and I'm just taking a short video to kind of like show you around where is the best place to to go if you're ever here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, this is the Seaside Park and right beyond those trees you're gonna see the beach very short. But of course this video is not about uh, Bridgeport or Connecticut whatsoever. This video is to uh, educate you and tell you a little bit about who I am and what I do as a naturopathic doctor which is a little different from a normal doctor that you see in the hospital instead we deal more with natural uh, alternatives uh, before I get started into what I do specifically as a profession I want to tell you a little bit about my story so I I was born and raised in Chile for my first 11 years of my life and then I arrived to the US uh, and I had to learn the language. It was not easy because it was not just the language I had to get used to, it was also the whole culture shock. I left a lot of my family back home, it was just myself, my parents, and my sister, who was four at that time, and it took a while. It took a while for me to adapt, even though I lived in a Hispanic community, it was still a lot of culture shock. On the other hand, however, I learned valuable lessons about, you know, your identity as a Hispanic person, which is Chilean, and also kind of like a citizen of the world in a way. And that kind of brings me to the point of what I want to tell you about why I, what I became a doctor in the first place. Not a naturopathic doctor, just a doctor. So it all started when I was five and I remember this so vividly. Um, I was watching the news like nine o'clock because at 10 o'clock they will show like movies every weekday for the most part and at nine o'clock there were news and I remember seeing this old man who used to live under a bridge and yeah I'm gonna take a little stop right now and this old man touched me a lot because it kind of showed me that our society is very sick to to just say it generally this old man lived under a bridge he will go up and ask for passengers for money anytime he needed to eat basically and he lived there because his family abandoned him because he was an alcoholic that's what i remember but of course the news wasn't about him the news was about the fact that one day, the passengers who um, knew him as a regular um, just stopped by and noticed that he didn't make it. Uh, it was a winter, a cold winter night, and in Chile, winter, winters do not snow usually, but they're very cold. And he didn't make it. They was, he was found dead. I remember crying a lot because it was very touching and from that moment I just said to myself I'm gonna be a doctor I'm gonna help society and basically that's the reason that's in the back of my mind as to when people ask me why I became a doctor I know this kind of sounds like a social work kind of story but I'm looking at more globally I'm not looking at just for health in people because medicine and at least my uh, perspective of being a doctor is to not only get better get people better but also get relationships better connections better in this society people are very disconnected from each other they're very disconnected from nature and that's where things start going wrong when you're disconnected from family, when you're disconnected from nature, illnesses arise. 
they manifest very differently and everybody has a different story to say as to why. But I think that's why this is what I needed to do, to become a doctor and show people that it's not only about their bodies and their mindset that's gonna get them better, but also their surroundings, their environment. Like for example, you can see here, it's nice, like it's a nice environment, it's a nice day, you go for a walk and you kind of feel a little connected. And then there are times that you may be at the city, there's plenty of people, but in a way they're all strangers and isolated from each other. So it's about connection, it's about getting people to connect again and that is an improvement in their health also. So that is the doctor aspect as to why I became a doctor. And my vision basically of health is not just to take care of your body and your mind, but also your connections. If you wanna learn more about what naturopathic medicine is, just click the link above or if you know what a naturopathic doctor is and you want to know how I can help you directly, then click on the links about Skype or how to make an appointment in Skype or an appointment with uh, myself back in Pennsylvania. That's where I'm practicing. All right, so I'll see you in one of those three.